How's it going everyone? We're going to be trying some Binding of Isaac today and as you can see here I've played it before, I've gotten the full file complete and I thought it might be fun since it's so hard for me to keep track of where to go and what to do trying to get everything unlocked. Let's do a little playthrough. I'm going to link all of the stuff that I'm using, all the mods and everything, all of the, the pads that we're taking in the descriptions of the videos. We can kind of just play along if you also have a similar issue with trying to beat Binding of Isaac and get everything unlocked and all that because it's really not very clearly laid out at all when you're playing. So let's go here, just delete the file, it's going to be brand new. And what we got to do, first things first, disable any mods that you might have because you have to beat the game without mods first before you can actually start unlocking stuff. Then you can put mods on after your first run. And always gotta do hard mode to unlock everything. So let's just jump into it. For those of you who are like, what the hell are you talking about? What is Binding of Isaac? Um, welcome to the world. Um, <laughs> it's a very popular game from a while ago, actually. Um, it's one of my all-time favorites. It is a classic. But basically the premise is a little Cliff Notes version. You're playing this kid by, his name is Isaac, um, and his mom was told by the Lord to kill her son, Isaac. So he finds out and then runs away and climbs through, down into his basement. So this we're in the basement right now, and we have to fight off all of the monsters and all of Isaac's demons and all of that as he's trying to escape his mom. And that's like the basic premise. Now there's not going to be a whole lot of that going on in the game itself. Um, that's more of like an underlying theme. And then you'll see like the bosses play into that a bit, you know. But aside from that, I mean, we're really just doing, you know, it's a classic dungeon crawler kind of vibe. Running through, clearing rooms, all that good stuff. And where this game really shines, in my opinion, is the item combinations. Well, that was unfortunate. Just like the way that items interact with each other. One, you already have so many items to choose from from the get go. And then that compounded with items working together is really just very impressive. I think it's a fantastically made game. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to kind of see. We're going to see what we can make happen here. Okay, let's get a chest here, see what we can get. We're gonna not grab this soul heart, and I'll tell you why here in a second. Unlock you. You are also a soul heart, so we're not gonna grab you either. Um, so the first round, this first floor that we're on, um, you can't find angels or devils, right? So there's, at the end of each floor, there is a chance which you can see on the left side, um, the, the bottom two images there. Those are your odds of finding an angel room or a devil room once you beat the boss for the floor. And what the primary driver that decides whether you get the angel or devil room is whether you've taken red heart damage specifically um, on that floor. So since there's no chance of getting it anyways, we're going to save these soul hearts which don't affect the chance. They don't decrease it if you get hit with a soul heart. Um, so just in case we hit the got hit here in the boss, it would hit our red hearts and not not the soul hearts that we want to save for future. It's a little confusing, but trust me, it, it, it'll be second nature if it isn't already. And here we have to discuss the most controversial <laughs> of, of uh, items in the game, the pills. So, oh, that wasn't actually a hard up. Just kidding. See, I, I haven't played this game in a, a good little while, so I'm going to be a little rusty on some of the items, I think. Um, but yeah, so pills have some chance of being good and some chance of being bad. And the, the types of pills that you can see in any given run are decided. They're determined at the beginning of the run. So we're basically going to say... You know, the, the pills are unknown in the beginning until you eat one and then you know for the rest of the run what that specific pill does. So you kind of have to, you know, it, it's uh, there's two, two schools of thought for pills. It's either, hey, this isn't worth it. Um, the potential downsides don't outweigh the, 
potential upsides, or they do outweigh the upsides. Something and then there's the school of thought that I personally subscribe to, and that is once you know what the pills do, you can just choose not to take the bad ones again. <laughs> and then you can only take the good ones. So in the long run, as you go throughout the throughout the level, I think it's better to get pills. Because then you, you just cherry pick the good ones. But I can see the argument not wanting to, specifically when you're trying to get um, like early game stats and stuff. It really sucks getting speed down pills early game. Because it's just like, alright, now I'm running at the pace of the slug over here. <laughs> and then it just takes forever to do everything. So, you know. I can see where they're coming from. But personally, curiosity is just too much for me to stay up to. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through. The reason I'm breaking all these little hoop things is because there's always a chance that they drop an item here. So you can get some coins, you can get a heart maybe, even a soul heart. So... I think it's worth grabbing, unless my attack speed is just painfully slow and it would take ages, I usually try to grab them. Okay, take them out here, what's this do? We got a range up pill, love to see it. We actually have two range ups now. The item we got there got a range up and then that one just did too. Fantastic. Okay, now these guys... I think are best disposed of by using a bomb. Now you just kind of full send it and then they instantly die. I think that's the best way to do it, especially early game. They can be a real pain. So this one, I'm trying to remember what this item does. It's something with backstabbing, I believe. So like you do more damage if you hit them in the back kind of thing, which seems pretty good. Um, let's see, let's let's take a quick gander, see if we can find the secret room. I don't know if we'll be able to find it quickly or not, right here. Beautiful, okay. Ooh, and we replenished our bombs and we get into the shop for free. Don't mind if I do. Oh, all right, now this item is huge. So what this item does is it creates a portal. If I'm thinking of the right item, it creates a portal at the beginning of each level. And you can choose if you want to go to secret room, if you want to go straight to the boss, if you want to go to the treasure room. You know, you just kind of pick wherever. It's very good for like speed running, right? For obvious reasons, you can just go directly to the boss. So it's pretty solid. Um, it very well might not be that that item that I'm thinking of. I've been wrong before, and I will be wrong again. Let's see. Okay, it is. So yeah, the blue one goes to a secret room. Gold one goes to the treasure room. Let's do a secret. This is an extra large room. You can see on the right above the backstabber item. Or an extra large floor, I should say. So that means that we're going to have a lot of rooms to rooms if you will okay we go here check out up here oh there's the boss <laughs> so I would say there is an argument to be made with go taking out the boss right now and I think I might that's right that item causes bleed if you hit him in the back that's what it does um, we're gonna save you for later when we actually want to leave the floor. So this white heart is an eternal heart. It'll give you a heart container if you end the f if you end the floor with it. But yeah, so the reason I want to do this now is because like we were talking about with the soul hearts increasing or not decreasing our our angel and devil room deal option percentages. Um, I think we want to try doing that. Doing the bosses now. Otherwise, we might get hit, you know? We might get hit early on, um, lose that soul heart, and then any hits in these boss rooms is just gonna be nuking our soul heart. Um, like our, our devil angel room idea. A little chubby, love to see it. Grab here, screw is really good, tears and shot speed up. 
Okay. Gertie here is super chill. <laughs> Just kidding. I wasn't looking at him at first. I was too busy clearing these guys out. Okay, normally Gertie is super chill. I don't know why I'm playing horribly right now. But he's like super telegraphed in his abilities. So as soon as he like ducks down into his little thing here, he's gonna shoot wherever you're closest to, whatever direction. All you have to do is sit here. As soon as he goes in, you leave. And then you come back. And you leave. And then just repeat. I should have. I should not have taken any hits there. That was a little embarrassing. Um, we didn't hit the one and three for the devil room. Unfortunate, but that's okay. And now that the boss is defeated, let's start going through the whole room, whole floor. That was an unfortunate little one-two punch there. Okay, these guys are lively today. Okay, do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But one of the upsides to the extra large rooms, or extra large floors, is you get two treasure rooms per floor. Kind of nice. And see, this is what I was talking about. I'm just getting all these bad hits in here. This is why I wanted to do the boss first. Just in case anything like this happened. And there goes all of our soul hearts. <laughs> okay, and if we break these black ones and it damages everybody. Let's just do that. Clean out this room nice and easy. Ooh, I like you. Okay. Oh, dude, that hit me. The other one that I deserve. That one, that was a little tricky. That was a little, a little iffy, I might say. Okay, we go here. Here's the first of two treasure rooms. This one is okay. It like paints them like red, and then you just do more damage to them. I'm pretty sure. And I think it's important to note um, once we get. That's unfortunate. Once we get through this first run, we'll be able to turn on mods. And I'm not doing any like game changing mods or anything, but I do have item descriptions and stuff, which I would highly recommend if you don't already. Because that is just very good. All right, get rid of you. You don't have to do all this guesswork and try to memorize hundreds of items. Ooh, that one's perfect. Get a little soul heart action, a little tears up. Um, you're not great. But maybe we'll hold on to you. Actually, I guess not, right? Because if we can turn them into poop over here with the this handle, it pairs well with our little um a little item. A little what is that called? I can't remember. The one that gives extra... extra item drops from breaking poop. We'll try to use... use the item when we have a bunch of... bunch of homies to hit. Okay, let's go... up and around here. Now I'm trying to see... one of the hardest parts... Ooh, let's use it here. Interesting. So they don't turn into poop, because they already are. <laughs> or you know. Um, one of the hardest parts when you're starting a new new game is figuring out where to put the camera. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm kind of thinking maybe down here would be good. Because you still want to see the map up in the top right. Um, and then the other corners are taken for. So we might not be able to see all of the items. Ooh, hello. Um... Yeah, we might not be able to see all the items in the bottom right, but personally, I think those are the least interesting ones. Maybe that's fine. Okay, looking great. 
gonna save this half soul, half normal heart until I get an extra red heart. Because that way, I'll be able to get a full soul heart. Otherwise, right now, it'll be actually half and half. But if you have full red hearts, it's already gonna be a soul heart. Let's go here, let's go here. We net two bombs. That's fantastic. Perfect. Not seeing any red hearts. We can always go up to the boss if we need to. There we go. Glad we didn't have to run all the way to the boss room and then back. Alright, let's just clear this one other room. Oh, I'm glad we did. We should be getting a lot of items here. And yet, see, now we know that this is a range up, so we'll grab it every time. Oh, baby. We're getting so much from this. It's fantastic. This item is very good. We can turn you guys into poop. You'll be easy enough to take out here. Is usually what I say right before I get hit. Dodge these guys. These are the kind of guys that you really need to just take it slow. If you just start going ham and blasting everybody, they're going to explode all over you and then it's not going to be a good time. Okay. So let's go here. Let's go here. And then now that we have that eternal heart, we're going to be getting an extra heart as we go to this next floor. How neat is that? Okay, um, let's actually do... I'm going to jump to the boss here. The reason being, because I think... Watch out. Um, I want to get the devil early on here. So hopefully that'll make us super strong, and then we can kind of just full send... Trying to get some back shots here. <laughs> we can just full send the rest of the floor. Clear it super quick if we're like crazy strong. There we go. Grab you. We got some extra. Ooh, we unlocked a new character since we got a black heart. Yeah, see, here's what I'm talking about. All of these are fantastic. Even the... The false PhD is probably worth taking. Okay, so Brimstone is one of the best. Um, but since we have... It's kind of hard to say, right? So this one creates little void rifts and damages a bunch of stuff. I don't think it pairs that well with Brimstone. This one is Flight, so I think we'll take Flight for sure. I kind of want to grab you. Nice, we unlocked a Zazel. And then... Yeah, let's say we don't need Brimstone here. I don't know how it works with these little portal void things. And... Personally, I think these two are a little more fun. Brimstone is one of those, like, all you're doing is Brimstoning. There aren't very many combinations with it. And for that reason, I don't think it's quite as exciting. But, don't get me wrong, it's still pretty good. Alright, you should be dying here in a second. There we go. What do we got in the shop here? Um, I mean, we can grab you. I don't think you're very good. Since we don't really like our shop options too much, I think we can introduce the donation machine. Now what this guy does is you just keep donating the stuff over and over again, and as you hit some milestone benchmarks, uh, you start unlocking stuff. So it's going to be a very much a just kind of go as you as you're playing kind of thing. But it's going to take a long time getting that guy maxed out. 
once we do, we'll unlock a bunch of cool stuff. Um, let's check out the treasure room. See how that's going. Get some bombs, sure. Homing bombs at that. Okay, looking good. Looking great, actually. Lovely. Um, let me check one thing here. I want to make sure we're doing all of the stuff that we need to do. Okay. Yeah, we should be good. So really all we have to do in this first run is just beat the game. And then as we unlock some stuff and we start finding different things, um, we start getting... Ooh, ugh, watch out, hold on. Um, as we start unlocking different different endings and different bosses and stuff, we'll unlock more there. But really, it's get through this one so we can enable mods and then the game really starts. I mean, high key, we already found everything that we care about here. Maybe we just full send it. And since this is an abridged version of the game, I think I'm just going to deposit everything. Ooh, store upgrade, hello. Into our donation machine. There we go. That's another thing, you can only deposit so much. There's some percent chance that it'll jam when you try to donate. And that just kind of prevents you from abusing it, you know? Tears down. That's fine. Tears down. So what I just grabbed was the false PhD. What it does, it makes all of the pills bad, but then they all give damage up. So, you know, there, there's good and bad options for both of those. That's a very bad item. Let's go here, see what we can find a few coins. Nice, found like Five coins, I think. Ouch. Yeah, we got a heart back. <laughs> Alright, and then this is the final boss for the first run. It's mom. It's actually just mom's leg. So he's gotta go through, we gotta take him out, do all this stuff. So all you gotta do, the best way that I've found to deal with mom is hug these corners like in this line just offset from the middle because if you're right in front here she smacks you like that but if you're right to the side she won't you, know, you just kind of hang here and then you'll see a shadow occasionally no. um, you'll see a shadow where she's about to stomp on you whenever you see that just start running down there we go and we should be getting Almost through here. There it is. Love to see it. His mother, if you can listen to that cutscene. To serve her God was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else. Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Oh, look at that. Such a cutie. Oh. It is not over. And that's it. That is our first run. We have unlocked the womb. And then a, a challenge or two. So yeah, we basically, now we can turn on mods. We can actually enjoy the game. <laughs> and yeah, so now once we beat mom, we're going to have additional, yeah, we're just a whole ton of unlocks here. We're going to have additional things to, different additional floors to clear. But yeah, that is awesome. Okay, so let's, before we forget, enable the mods. Um, the config menu is pretty good. Item descriptions is required, in my opinion. Um, and then, yeah, some like the multiplier stat is nice. Some of these are like nice to haves, but 
you don't need them. But I would definitely, if you're not sure what to get, start out with external item descriptions. It is incredibly useful. You don't have to remember a whole bunch of garbage. <laughs> it's just really good. Um, but yeah, I will see you all in the next one. We will embark on our first, we'll say first full round. That was kind of like a preview round in a way. But hope you enjoyed. If you do, let me know. And there is more Binding of Isaac to come.